Mas é, This episode of the show was brought to you by such patrons as Dwight the Janitor, Brian N., Ben Jammin, Darmy Wheelies, Turbo the High Level Squirrel, Big Boy Farts 666, Jesus Penis, Despicable Dogs, It's Leon Motherfucker, Parkman, Phone Losers of America, Fancy Pants, MST3 Clay, Anonymous, and Crispy808. Thank you to everyone for supporting the show. You can visit us at immoralhole.com or immoraljuice.com for our live shows. Find our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash madhouse militia. Find our YouTube at youtube.com forward slash at madhouse militia. You can find our other contribution pages at immoralhole.com forward slash show forward slash contribute. Type that in here though. Looking into the Kings for Hi, I'm here with my family. I need to get a room. Uh, there's six of us. Do you have any uh, bookings available? The only rooms we have left are single bedrooms. Bullshit. Okay. How many? Uh, we have a lot, but they're pretty expensive tonight because we have a race going on in the area. Uh, well, what kind of race is more, that? Yeah, more races. Yeah, it's a dirt bike kind race at Muddy Creek. Oh, oh, yeah. I remember Muddy Creek. I went there once. I My did, too. Got all I muddy. was there. Yeah. Mine did, too. I got muddy shorts on. Sir, would you like to get muddy in Muddy Creek with us? I'll be gentle. Hi. I, I think I got a pass. Oh, that's sad. I feel rejected. What you missing out? Yeah, our cheapest oh. room is going to be like uh, two over two hundred dollars after tax. Holy shit! You know how much that is a month? It's like six thousand dollars a month. I'm going to take all my lunch money. What's your monthly rate? So say we don't have monthly rates. It only goes up to weekly. Week rate? How many people can we have in the room, though? Uh, that's up to you. It just has one bed in it, though. Okay, I was thinking about subletting it or airbnb it. Um uh, kind of like make up some of the money so like while i'm not there during the day i was like rent it out to other people that's legal right i don't think so hmm but i'm not using the room i mean like if what's that what was that i heard somebody Talking over there, they're saying hurtful things about me and my family. Oh, let me write that down. I did have this written down. I did have hey, this Connell written Lodge down. Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm here with my boyfriend, Daddy. Daddy. Okay. Hi. Daddy Fat. Daddy yeah. Fat and I Hi, need Daddy. a room. I don't have any, honey. Oh, is it because of Muddy Creek? Yeah, that and a couple other things. Yeah, I was down there at Muddy Creek, and my my trousers got all muddy because I couldn't make it to the toilet, and I had an accident. That's okay, baby. I got you. I can take care of you. I know you can. He's going to lick me all clean down there. That's right. You sit back and let me lick all over. Evening, thanks for calling Holiday in Kingsport. Yeah, I had a quick question. Uh huh. Do you guys discriminate against me and my boyfriend? I fucked that up. Uh, uh, Thank you for calling Fairfield Inn in Kingsport. My name is Beth. How can I help you? I have a quick question. Yes, sir. Do you guys discriminate against gays? I'm sorry, what? 
Me and my husband were two men. We're sexually attracted to each other. Do you discriminate against that sort of thing? We don't. Well, you see, it's because this hotel we were just at, they, what happened was I went down and asked for a pillow, and they said, what do you need a pillow for? And particularly what happened, my, my husband bit the pillow, and he took a chunk out of it, and it's just a long story. But he asked me why, and I they said, do you really want to know why he bit the pillow? And he said, yes, why the fuck are you guys biting my pillow? And I told him. And he said, you be, he he told me like this. He said, you goddamn you, get the fuck out of my... He was a, he was in, he was engine. He was an engine. And he said, you goddamn get the fuck out of my hotels. And he kicked us out. Well, I don't know what to say about that. But no, we do not discriminate. So you're welcome to come here. Well, do you have a problem with my husband biting the fucking pillow or not? Nope, he can he can bite whatever he wants to, just as long as he don't bite me. Well, he is getting a little bitey. He gets a little squirrely. It is probably. <laughs> and he he said he used to be a vampire in his past life. Hey. He likes biting and suck things. <laughs> oh my god! Well, I gotta say, you guys gave me a pretty good laugh tonight. I appreciate that. Hold on, honey. Do you you sound like a fine young woman? Do you would you like to join us? I I would not. I'm I'm one of the gays myself. <laughs> we're experimenting. Well, that's Ed, we're experimenting tonight. It's Friday the thirteenth. We hail Satan. Oh yeah, yep. It is Friday the thirteenth. You're right. That's not the comment. So on this today, in this evil Halloween, we're gonna celebrate and experiment, and we're wondering if we can get a woman. Maybe we can watch you and your girlfriend. You can watch us. Well, I'm 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 sure you can look on Tinder or Facebook or something. Somebody might 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 open some options for you. No, I'm not a big fan of dating apps. I like doing things organically, and I already spoke well, to you. And you sound like a nice, sweet. Well, you got you want something you want something random and spontaneous. You got to go for the online ones. I don't trust them people online. They come and they're going to do something to my boyfriend and me, and I can't have that happen again. Oh, yeah, I hear you. Well, you're welcome to come here and check What's, in. And buy have you been on those you. dating apps? <laughs> no, not have myself. You, have you been on those dating apps? I have not. Well, goddamn, what are you going to tell me to get on it for? I, just just from word. I hear, I hear everybody likes them dating apps. Blackwood, what has happened that is good on a dating app? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I haven't ever experienced You... You tell me someone... Someone got fucked off a dating app, and I'll maybe check it out. But I ain't never heard of nobody getting fucked from a dating app. It's all bullshit, people fucking around trying to scam you. Yeah, it could be. Well, your husband might be able to buy some of their pillows. Okay, coming down there in about an hour or two, I want to come bite your pillow. Do you? Does your ass cheeks resemble a pillow? Does your ass cheeks resemble a pillow? I'm asking you. Well, you, well, you don't need to ask me that. Well, you see, my ass cheeks, I do a lot of squats. It's a nice, round, firm ass. It's really nice, actually. If I put on leggings, you wouldn't tell the difference between me and you. I hear you. Is there a man to speak to? I feel like there's a little prejudice, un, you know, an unbiased towards me. Talking Did you say is there a man that you can speak to? <laughs> yes, man. Is there a man I can speak to? I'd feel more comfortable. I don't think you're getting what I'm putting down no. there, honey. There's um. Oh no, I'm picking up what you're putting down, sir. But uh, you gave me a good laugh. I appreciate it, and you guys have a good and safe night. And so uh, you have never tried it. You, you've never had a dick in your life. You're gonna sit there and tell me that for real. I do this one. Come for in. Hello, hello. Come for in. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm in the bathroom and I need a an extra roll of toilet paper. Thank 
Thank you for calling the Nothing. Hail Springs in. Michael, how can I help you? Ah, Michael, it's Friday. Hello? The 13th. Michael! I'm sorry, who is it? It's Friday the 3rd, Michael, and my friend's fucking me. No, I'm not. That's wild, bro. Hi, my name you is Hector Van Rosenberg. How are you? Huh? Do you want do you get in on this, Michael? I got a big fat round ass. I do a lot of squats. Yeah, bro, super into it. Oh. I, it's it's not hairy or anything. I shave it. I got a nice pink butthole because I bleached it too. Oh, that's gross. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? I don't know. Oh shit, you like it, Michael? How do you bleach your own ass? I, I have I don't another know do it at the wax center. That's what the fuck I'm talking huh? about. Yeah. Yo, who the fuck you think you're talking to, Michael? Who you coming at that way, bro? The fuck you cussing at me for? Bro, what are you talking about, bro? Yeah, why are you being all disrespectful? Why are you being hey, all disrespectful? Hey, who the fuck you think you are? I ain't disrespect yeah, you like that, bro. Dude. The fuck? I told you, man. I love that bleach asshole, bro. Oh. You better fucking like it. You're going to learn to love it. Dude, I'll tell you that right, right now, I'm boy. I'm on your fucking team, bro. I don't know what we're talking about right now. Oh, you tried I don't bleaching? know, bro. You respectful right now, bro. Have you tried bleaching without shaving, though? And then you'll have, like, white hair? Oh. Yeah, man. Oh. Have you ever have you ever looked at your own ass? Thank you. Thank you for calling Bradford in the Sweet Smore Sound. This is Abby. How can I help you? Oh, uh, Abby. Um, I, I'm in the room and I don't know the person that I'm coming with because I met him at a bar late yesterday and I'm hiding because he's asleep and and I don't want to wake him up. So. <laughs> um. Wait. What? Oh, man. He punched me while I'm sleeping. Uh, okay. I, I I sit down in chair. You know, I fall asleep in the chair. Next thing I know, I wake up. My pants are unbuttoned, and he punched me. Oh, my God. Um. So what are you needing from me? Do you need a room? Well, I don't know. I don't, yeah, I need a separate room from him because he's not trustworthy. What room are you in? 215. 215? Yeah, and I, I wasn't even wearing pants, so he must have, like, put pants on me just to unbutton them. Are you in the room right now? Yeah, I'm I'm still sitting in the chair. Um sitting in your chair. Yep. So I'm so sorry. I just I don't know if this is a joke or not. I don't have any rooms to move you to tonight, but I just I'm it's, not sure It's a joke. Who are you on the phone with? Nah. Who are you on the phone with? Oh, oh this is the front desk lady. Yeah. Why are you calling the front desk? Because uh, I'm lonely. I told your ass to wait in the fucking bathroom for me to get done. No. Stuck to doing calling, calling the lady at the front desk. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me talk to her dumb ass. I, I won't do it again. Hello? Um, what is going on? Hello? Who is Hello? this? Uh, this is the front desk. Who is this? And what's he talking to you about? Did he say he met me at a bar? I don't know. He said a lot of stuff. He said... We see what it is. is He's actually married with kids, and he doesn't want his wife to know, so he pretends that he met me at the bar. We've actually been secretly dating for years, and he just won't come out. And I've been fucking telling you to come out, because I don't want to do this anymore. Okay. Um... Lies. All lies. He fucks me all the time, and he doesn't want to admit that he loves it. He loves okay. it. Okay. Okay. I don't know why you guys call me for this. Honestly, like I'm, <laughs> I'm just a front desk clerk. Well, we need your help. We need your help. We well, need to decide about, what he's gonna do. Yeah, we're thinking How about do- telling our parents, but we wanted to try it out on you first. 
wanted to let them know that we're boyfriend and boyfriend. What should he do? Should he go and, like, just break up with me and go back and live his life with his wife and kids? Or should he just leave them and come with me and eat this bushy all the time? I think I could manage a second family, though. Like, I think you underestimate my ability to be stealthy. I know you can do some stealthy stuff, honey. I just want to know the lady. Okay, I'm going to hang up, Doc. This conversation's not for me. We we need your opinion, baby. We just need your opinion, honey. Can Honestly, you please you guys, just tell us you what need, you would you do? You just need to do what you think is right, you know? Like, what your heart's telling you to do. My heart is me. I just want him to eat my ass all the time, but he says he can't do it, and I just don't want to share. Look, I got you a pack of dude wipes, and you and you wouldn't use them, so... Okay, uh, oh. I bleached my asshole for him and everything. I bleached it, and he just it won't leave his wife. You know, I don't want to snitch. I don't want to tell like, nobody. Top five is the wildest calls I've ever got. You guys are up there now. <laughs> baby, we need your opinion. What would you do if you were in his shoes, baby? Um, Honestly, honestly, I don't know what I would do in his position. If I'm being completely honest. Are you are you uh in a relationship with anybody? We're not talking about me here. Well, no, I'm just gonna ask you because if you if you're in a relationship, have you ever cheated on that person, or have you ever cheated on somebody that you were with? When I was in high school, but not. Oh, uh, that's fine. We're being honest here. And what? what so it's because it's high school, you just didn't take it serious? <laughs> yeah, just, nothing was serious. So wait, so how did you cheat then? You just kissed somebody on the cheek? What are you fucking holding hands? That's nothing. That's okay. I that honestly, it was, it was so long ago, I don't even remember. But you you guys, what about now you guys, you've been an adult? You will, did you go hey, and I fuck promise, somebody behind someone's back? I promise you guys will She probably gave them... Hey, look. So I didn't. I he made fun of me because I thought a blowjob was when a girl blows in your ear. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It is. is it? How many blowjobs have you been to somebody before? Uh, I'm gonna get off the phone now. You guys have a great night. Don't hang up. You could ask him. Oh, you sound drunk just like me. How are you doing? Uh, wow. I'm all right. Yeah. I'm not drunk. All right. I believe you. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yeah. So you got any rooms? Yes. Uh, okay. I got me and my family here in the station wagon. <laughs> yeah. How you doing there, motherfucker? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Glad I'm not driving. You know? Oh, oh, oh. oh okay. Be oh, it's careful. just a deer. It's just a deer. Oh, uh, Dad, Dad, I don't have my license, Dad. Pat, hold on that steering wheel now. Be careful. Oh, sh. Son, I need you to fuck me now. Please. Just put that in there, baby. I could tell a chess of Maran Yvator, Matis of Yala, or the chess of the Sarami Haravanjari could take. Terry Maki was on everything you want, Mada Bosra Venture. Undele Maru Mother Chut. And Yao, Yao, Marigan Bosch, Hassaman or Bin Shilay, said, Shumini, no, no, Bin Shilay. What language is it? Georgia. I popped up at 30 and got straight to fucking. Give me a call back, okay? I'm drinking too, just like you. Bye. That's the concern about. Smokey to my tail. Hi. Why are you concerned? Why are you concerned? Hello? This is Byron. Hello? You've been calling my number? Hello? 
Who is this and why are you concerned? Hey, hello? Stupid lady! Express Kodak. Hi, how are you? I'm good. It's Friday the 13th. Yeah. Has anything spooky happened to you? <laughs> no. Have a good night. Hello, good day. Thanks for contacting Bezos and Kodak Amesos. Yeah, who, who am I speaking to? Best Western Kodak Amesos. Your name is Kodak? Are you trying to book a room, sir? I just want to know who I'm talking to, what your name is, son. What the fuck? Dolly, Dolly. I like Dolly Wood. Can you somebody me help you? Hey, why'd you hang up me right now? I'm sorry? Well, my wife called you, and she said you hung up on her. Um, sorry, sir, I don't remember hanging up on anyone. My wife, Chris, she swore... Chris, baby. Yes. She's the one that hung up on you, baby? Yeah, but she called me a stupid, She called me a stupid bitch. Why would you call her that? Excuse me. These lines are recorded. I can pull You called my wife. With... And she said I was poor. You called I'm my sorry wife to whore hear that, and a but... whore? Well, if it wasn't you, then who was it? These lines are being recorded. I can pull any conversation you would like. What time? Well, if it wasn't you, then who was it? This isn't a. What's wrong with being poor? I'm sorry, but these lines are being recorded. Yeah, what's wrong with being recorded? Okay, so let's see here. Phone number is coming from seven eight seven five. Three, one, blah, 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 Who's that? Hey, ex- woman, excuse me, woman. Hey, I'm the, the legal uh, advisor for this, um, for this man. What you're doing is illegal recording calls without their consent, without them uh, knowing to their knowledge. Uh, we'll be contacting you in the Ask Court District of uh, 69 420. What the fuck are y'all talking about? Yo, don't be fucking raising your voice at me, bitch. I'll fucking come down there. Y'all called me first. It's a bot. One moment, I'm going to get my supervisor. Me and your supervisor, we're going to talk about this. We're going to handle this right now. Water dome include Smokey Surf Rider. The storm chase. Are you still there? I'm still here. I've been, I've been waiting. I'm going to handle this. If you would like to come to the front desk, we will discuss this. Baby, do you want to go to the front desk? I'm kind of embarrassed. Because she made a comment about my blown out asshole. You made a comment about her bigots? I'm sorry, but if you continue to speak of that way, I am going to hang up. Sorry, my bad. I, I apologize. You made a comment about her larger breasts? No, no one has done that, sir. Wait, what, what hotel is this? If you don't know what hotel this is, how how did you make the phone call? She asked if I, I would use was Google. Right, she asked if I was right-handed because my left boob is bigger than the right. I'm sorry, I don't believe that. I know that it's that bigger than the right. Your nipples also a lot bigger. And then she licked her lips. 
You do have enormous, ginormous tits, honey. That's fine. People are going to look. You can't stop them. So, what hotel is this? I just Googled it. I just Googled the number. So, if you Google the number, how do you know which hotel this is? You should know. By fucking phone, just I can push it and make a call. It. I don't say nothing or click nothing like that. I don't go into the information bar. I just click call. All right. Um, so, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to assist you. So, I'm going to terminate the phone call. Uh, excuse me, miss. I'm the legal counsel here, and I would advise you not to hang up. We have every right oh, to hang up. Oh, you're in a deep shit if you hang up on me. Yeah, I would. Call the insights. Is there a man there I can speak to? I'm sorry? Could you repeat? Is is there a man there I can speak to, honey? One moment, please. Okay, now. Hi, uh, who am I speaking to? Hello. Hi, Ann. I'm sorry, what was your name? How can I help you? Toyan. Crispy, is that guy? Yeah, he's the one that thrusted his hips towards me without blinking. My wife, Crispy, went in there to check us in the room, and and she said that you ended up seducing her and fucking her in the back room closet. What's up with that? What? My wife said you seduced her, and you fucked her in the back room closet. What's up with that? <laughs> Is this a joke? He said, wait here, I'll get you a towel, and he never came back. You nutted wait. on her and didn't bring her a towel? Uh, Is this a joke? So you're Must the kind of man that pulls out. You should have just left it inside. You should have just left it inside. Are you a pussy or what? <laughs> you're a joke. Hello? Hey, how's it going, brother? How you doing? Good. Hey, listen, uh... I'm I'm currently out here fishing on the the Little Pigeon River right now, and uh, I need. Some, I, do you guys have a shuttle or something? No. I'm sorry, uh, man. I, me and my my buddy here, my buddy uh, my buddy Jane. You know, listen, we need some help. Okay, we got this big old big old rainbow trout right here. Okay, and we want to uh, we want to touch it. Okay, you know, we want to touch Hello? it. No, no, this, this, this is the Econo Lodge. Yeah. No, no, I mean, we're out here fishing on the parkway, you know what I'm saying? We just need to, we want to touch the fish and we need some help. Oh, you need some help to catch the fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Are, I, hey, man, I, 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 are, are you are you in a microwave right now? Or are you, like, inside of one? Yeah, probably I'm in the microwave. Oh, you're you're in the microwave, dude. That's not okay. Yeah. You know you can get ball yeah. cancer, and you can get testicle cancer from that. It's okay, man. I like cancer. You like cancer, man? That's not okay, man. Man, yeah. I'm gonna come up. There. I'm gonna come help you, okay? You need some help, brother. Yeah. Mhm. Okay. Have a good night. Hey, do you touch it? Do you, uh, do you touch it? Yeah, man. I'm all night every day. You touch it? You touch it? Yeah, man. Yeah. You said you, you touch? No way. I do too. Oh, uh, that's good, man. One day we do it together. Oh, yeah. Uh, Let's do it. I'll come over there right now. Night. Hell yeah. Have a good night. Hey, don't hang up on me. I'll sue you for billions. Ah. <laughs> uh, I have trillions. Have a good is night. Your, is your last name Patel? Is your last name Patel? 
Ah, uh, how you know? Uh, because like every Patel owns a, uh, a damn either a dry cleaners or the hotel or the Seven Eleven. Uh huh. Yeah, man. Have a good night. Yeah, f- yeah, yeah. Bye. 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 Fuck your wife. We should do it together. Thank you for calling Sleepy Knock in the Hound. Farm Village. What is it? Hello? Thank you for calling Sleepy Knock in the Hound. Oh, good. You're there. Oh, God. Thank God. I got hit by a car earlier. I was wondering if you had a, a room available for me to lay my broken body on. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for calling the Lodge of Five Oaks. This is Madison. How can I help you? Hi, Madison. How are you doing tonight? Good. How are you? Listen, I've had a horrible day. I got hit by a car earlier. I was just wondering if you had a, a room for me to lay my, my weathered, broken body on to, for the night. I'm okay. I got checked out and everything. It's just, you know, it feels like I broke something. Like, I flew up and over and I, off to the side, luckily. If I had flown, you know... Uh, behind the vehicle, I probably wouldn't be here to talk to you, you know? Well, we're glad you're here, but unfortunately, I don't have anything tomorrow. Or, or sorry, Oh, tomorrow. fuck! Yeah, I know. Uh, I've tried everywhere, and everyone's sold out. Yeah, there's a women's conference in town, so they have most of the rooms. Ah, oh, ugh, that's disgusting. Oh, my uh, God. <laughs> I understand Ugh. That. Ugh! Ugh! Okay, have a good night. You too. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. I'm not going to end any time soon. Thank you for calling the Indian Ampul Valley. Can you hold, please? Fuck no. no. Hello? It hurts. It hurts, sir. I can't wait. Okay, right now I'm going to... My body. Sorry? No, no transfer. I don't do that when I'm severely injured. I mean healing, but I got messed up pretty bad by the uh, vehicle. So I need to can't... lay down my broken body. Can you start again, sorry? Because I couldn't hear you well. I need to lay down my broken body. I got in an incident with the car. I'm fine, but it hurts. Okay. So you have an accident? So I can't hold. Yeah, I can help you right now. So, how, what can I do for you? I need a bed to lay down and heal. Now, you have, please. You have a reservation? No, I have traveler's checks. Um, I can pay when I get in. Gotcha, but uh, you are looking for one... One of the rooms that we have available, only I have a key. I don't know that it's working for you. More space is good for my body. Yeah, so I mentioned that. Anyway, um, how much in traveler's checks do I need to pay? Uh, I am able to check right now, okay? How many nights do you need? Uh, should just be two. I need to know how many to print out. Uh, that is, uh, I use many? my home printer to print them out. Two. Uh, two? Okay. Uh, how many people? Yes. Just me. I really okay. need to spread out, though. Don't worry about it, okay? That's why the king bed's great. Yeah, I have the sweet pin for you, okay? So it showed me that it would be for two nights after taxes, 786.87. I don't know if that is working for you, sir. That'll work. Let me just uh, fire up the printer. I'll make some. Uh, can you take a single $1,000 one? Yeah, sure. So as I mentioned, that it would be after taxes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let me just fire up Photoshop here. I think I can slap something together. Okay, that's okay. All right, 
Uh, what brand should I put on it? One more time, sorry. Uh, what brand should I put on it when I fake it? So you are coming on to this night, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. So I just have my laptop and a portable printer here so I can make a fake one real quick. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if you are coming right now. All right. So I can help you with that, okay? I'm a couple miles or a couple hours away, excuse me. Uh we are in the 1850 Parkway. Okay. Okay. So we will be waiting. Uh, let me just fire up the printer here and print these fake travelers checks for you. Okay, that's okay. Okay, when you are coming so we can discuss about it. Fraudulent. Okay, I love you. Goodbye. Okay, bye bye. God bless. Sorry? I said God bless. Peace be with you. Withered body. Best Western. Hello. Jeffrey speaking. I have to direct your call. Hi. Uh, yeah. Hi. Is this Jeffrey? Yes, it is. Hi. I, I have. I have to find a room. I've. I've got to do some things to save my marriage tonight. Uh, sir, I am full this evening. But but this is an emergency. Uh, you've got to have an emergency room or an emergency space that I can partake in tonight. Sir, I sympathize with your uh, situation, but I do not have any rooms available. Yeah, but you don't understand my situation. If I don't find a room tonight so I can shave off all of my body hair, I'm going to end up with a divorce. Sir, that sounds hot and sexy. It really does. I don't... I don't and understand I, and what's love hot to and watch sexy about it. I'm literally going to lose half of my stuff if I don't shave off all my body hair tonight. Well, I would suggest rubbing yourself in isopropyl alcohol and lighting a match. I was thinking more of the Nair body cream, but well, I mean, well, if you wh- whatever. Here, I mean, you sound like you. you might be experienced. Oh, all over my if, ass, if, neck, yeah, cheeks, and everything? Uh, absolutely. Uh, that sounds where, fucking what hot. Part of my ass neck, what part of my ass neck cheeks do you like? The crack. Yeah, yeah, now we're talking. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, I'll be, I'll be by. I'll be by. Hurry up. All right, don't pressure me. You gonna come by or not? Yeah, but I got I, I gotta finish. Hang on, let me get up. Let me get up and wipe. Oh, hang on. There's more. All right, give me a second. Uh, 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 Thank you for calling Marketo. Hi. Uh, so I did with the machine, you know, the the automated machine. I did what it told me to. Okay. You know when you call and it, it gives you all the information about where we're staying at? Mm-hmm. I stabbed a pigeon with a fork. What do I do now? Uh... Okay, so what's the reason for calling? Pigeon, it keeps seeing pigeon... Well, it said pigeon fork, pigeon fork, so I stabbed the pigeon with a fork. Okay. Now can I stay there? I stay, I'm stay. i at pigeon fork. I stabbed the pigeon with a fork. Okay, and when would you want to come and stab the pigeon with the fork? No, I already did that. So now when do I get to stay in the room? Okay, if you already did that, then did you book to room so that you can come and stay in the no, room? No, I, I called. I called. As soon as I stabbed the pigeon with the fork, I called. Okay. So when would you want a room? 
I want, do you have king size rooms? For when? When, whenever. Because I, I deserve a king size room because I stabbed a rare albino pigeon with a fork. Okay, but I can't tell you if I have a king room if you don't tell me when you want to come here. When do you change your panties? Excuse me? When do you change your panties? That's when I want to come, when you change your panties. Okay. Did you call to figure out a room or you call to be funny? Which one? I want to do the room, but you're over here trying to... You're like a stand-up comedian person, you carrot top. Okay, so I'm going to ask you for the last time. What's the date that you want to come and get your room? Friday the 13th, that is tonight. Okay, we don't have no more rooms available for... Stupid woman. Calling Holiday and Express Region 4. This is Doyle. May I help you? Hello. May I help you? Hey. How you doing there, boy? Doing fine. How are you? I'm all right. I got a problem up here in the uh, in the room. What room are you in? Oh, over here in 215. Finger looking good. 215. What's your name? Oh, well, under Johnson. J O H N S O N. I don't have a Johnson in 215. Well, that's what room I'm in right now. But what the problem is here, we're in here trying to hold, hold one of them telethons here, trying to save a prank caller. And we're trying to get donations, but people next door are making that impossible. They're over here making all kinds of racket, banging on the walls. Uh, we uh, we ought to check it out on the second floor. We, are you at the Holiday Inn Express in Pigeon Forks? We're in, yeah, over here in Pigeon Forks. Which hotel are you in? We're at the hotel, yeah, that's right. Which hotel? That hotel. Fairfield Pigeon Forge, how may I help you? Fairfield Pigeon Forge, how may Eddie. I help you? Eddie, oh. I want to talk to you. Hello, Eddie. <laughs> Look, I'm an American woman now. I want you to come to me, Eddie. <laughs> Eddie, what have oh, you done God. for me lately? <laughs> Fuck you, Eddie. <laughs> Mr. Fuck you, man. Oh, my God. Done for me lately, and I couldn't remember what it was from. And then Dwight put it on last week. It was Eddie Murphy. Mr. Lane, this is Austin. How can I help you? Yeah, it was Eddie Murphy. He was in the, the room with me, and his mustache bristled up against my ass. What do I do? Eddie, come here, Eddie. Oh, you just saw Ralph. Well, Look, little Italian white man. Well, thank you for calling Spring Hill Suites by Marriott Pigeon Forge. How can I help you? Hi, I'm calling from the Telephone Alliance of America, and we're calling to engage in civil disobedience. Can you please slam your phone down as hard as you can? Oh, that wasn't very hard at all. Powell, uh, hello? Pigeon Sweet, Pigeon Forge, this is Jamie hanging up you. Hi there, Jamie. I'm a representative from the Telephone Alliance of America. We just want you to slam your phone down as hard as you can. Okay. That's it. All right. Is that all? That's all. All right, thank you. I slam that motherfucker. Slam it! Come on. End the call. That's what I'm asking for. Just end, end the call. Do what? 
end the call. Just end it. As hard as you can you can end that call. End it. Just end it? All right. Oh, yeah. Thanks for Make calling you Hi. Um, I'm trying. I, I know this is going to be a weird request, and I, I hope you'll hang on the phone with me. I'm a guest here at the hotel. Mm-hmm. And I'm up here with my wife, um, and I'm I'm trying to um, consummate our marriage currently. We just got married earlier today, um, but I'm unable to achieve an erection unless a female slams the phone down and makes a loud clang when they do it. Can, could you help me? Could you repeat? Yeah, can you slam your phone down as hard as you can so I can achieve an erection and constipate my marriage, constipate my marriage with my wife? Okay, no problem. Just, just just slam it down real real goddamn hard. Okay. Yeah, hard, hard. Come on. Slam slam the phone down hard. Forge UBS guest services. Hi, I'm sticking a pigeon in my portable forge, and my son's laughing at me. Dying, dying, it's so hey. funny. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> 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 Need to get services. Uh, we're in the Got convention a pair of shears center. with some um, broom handles and cut them. Oh, Dan, this is Brandy. How can I help you? Well, that's fucking dumb. Hello? Hello? Hi. 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 Are you there? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, I, I was. I. I was. I'm sorry. My wife just took a pregnancy test, and we just got the results. Um, so I'm trying to book a room if I could. For when? Sure, I have the results. I have your results. Oh, okay. What are the results? Hi, my name is Dr. Felix. Copy, copy tasting. We're yeah. replacing. Can I help you? Hello? Hello? No, you can't, you stupid bitch. Hey, sweet stuff. Hello? Hello, can I help you? Hi. Yeah, yeah. We're uh, we wonder if you have any rooms available for tonight. No, sir. We're sold out. Why? What happened? We're sold out. Right, but what's going on? Why? What's the reason? Do you know? No, sir. Oh. Do you have any um, steering wheel uh, phone mounts at the front desk? No, sir. I, I need to go, because I like to watch movies on my phone when I drive, uh, and I have a rental car. We're actually using one. <laughs> Hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Hello, oh, I've had quite a, a horrible rough and tumble that I... Yes, I, uh, I I fell out of the of the home here. Yes. Hello, um, who is this? Yes, this is Mary, um, and my son is here, and he's inspecting my nappies. And Dwayne, Dwayne, get over here. Hello. Well, Grandma, you've. Uh... You soiled yourself for the last time. Uh, I'm afraid we're gonna uh -oh. have to, we're gonna have to put you down. Yes, they put me in the in the oven tonight. Yeah, ma'am, we took the we took I, the bathroom. Yes. Yeah, ma'am, we took we took the bathroom here at the hotel and we turned into a gas chamber. Thank you for wrong number. Hello, good morning. Hello, Hello. back to nothing. I'm gonna I'm happy. Hello. Hey, Haram Sharikote, my, my grandma, she's not feeling well. I need some who's medicine. Who is speaking, please? Oh, God. Hi, my name is Salakuta. How are you? We are in a nursing home here. Where, do you, where are you trying to get? I want to buy an MP3 player from the front desk. We, we don't sell medication here. 
This is a nursing home. No, I said MP. Yeah, I know. I want an MP3 player, I said. I don't want medication. You want what? MP3. Huh? What is the meaning of that? It's, you know, what? the song, the music. The oh, God. well, we don't, do, we don't have that here, darling. Why okay. Darling. Well, you don't Thank know you. me like that. Sorry? They said I love you. Thank you, bye. Help. Help. It's possible. There's Basil there. Basil. F hello? Hello, Leonardo Reception. Yes, hello. Is Basil there? Excuse me? Yes, is Mr. Fawlty there? Basil. No, that's not his name. Nah, you called the wrong number, my friend. Good morning. Thank you for calling Satokdam Hub Hotel. How can I help you? Hello? 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 Good morning. Thank you for calling Satokdam Hub Hotel. How can I help you? Oh, gosh, I... I help myself. And there's a man here. Out here. And he's... He's he's not my husband. No, 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 not at all. And he wants me to have a room with him. Have you got any rooms available? Yes. He's Sorry? gonna put it in me. He wants Hello? to put it inside me. Yes. Hello. Hello, hello there. Hello. Yes, hello there, dear. I'm looking for uh, this letter room. Yes. Hello there. You just been passed over to me. Is everything okay? Yes, yes. I wish to let her room. Uh, there's a man here. And he's not my husband. And he wants me to lay horse on to him. Or a bed for him to, to do things to me with. You see? Yes. Yeah, take the phone. Take my mobile and talk to the man. Yes, yes, take it. Take it. So, which room are you calling from? Yes, I'm in the room and he's got me out close to the bed. Yes, yes. And I'm 84 years old. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. What's the name yes. of the booking? Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Hello. Yes. Yes, that's the name. There it is. Yes. What's, What's your last name? Oh yes, it's the last name of the book. You have the sign the book. And I saw it right there. Miriam Jones. Yes. Yes. Oh, God, yes. What, what's going on then? Why is the device turned off? Turn the device on. Yes. Yes. Hello. Hi. I don't know where he's gone. He, he dials you up and put the phone up my ear. So I could talk to you, I suppose. But I don't know who he is. He he lured me into the room. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you know where you were? Which room you got lured into? Yes. Which hotel you were at? It's a large room, yes. Mm -hmm. It's a large you know which, room. Do you know where yes, you were? It which building? A, yes, it has a it has a large door mm -hmm. and a window. And, uh, well, that's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's screaming quite loud and I don't know why. Oh. Yes, oh, God, yes. Front desk, this is Randy. How can I help you? Hi. Hi. 
Hi, what can I do for you? Oh, was she transferring you down to the front desk? I. Yeah, she's. Uh, she was. She said somebody else is gonna have to explain to me why I can't do uh, do cocaine off of my bed sheets in the room. Oh, I'm sorry. Could you repeat that? Yeah, I, I called down because I was trying to see if you guys had any more straws. Uh, because I didn't have any in the order. I had a DoorDash order. They didn't have any in there. Uh, but she was explaining to me why, number one, you guys don't have straws, and number two, why I can't be doing cocaine off of the bed sheets. Oh, okay. Um, whatever you got going in your room is, is your business. So. Um, hey, man, I told right. you, you can't have my kidneys. Stop trying to take my kidneys. <laughs> hey, listen, you asked for an eight ball, and I yeah. told you. Yeah. If we're bartering, I get the kidney, you get the cocaine. I need him. I gotta pee. What is what what does that have to do with ma'am, can you pee without a kidney? Um, you actually have two and if you take one kidney out, the other kidney will grow twice as large to compensate. So, um you should be fine. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I've heard that argument about his dick before. <laughs> okay. Well, I am going to have to finish up some work over here. So uh, let me know. If right. you me need too. Me, me too. Me too. I've got it's, it's Friday the thirteenth. I've got very big important things to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Uh, you only have nineteen more mo- minutes of Friday the thirteenth. So um, get to it. Oh, I better get. The, I better get the cutting. All right. <laughs> have a good night. Oh. All right. Hello, Mr. Modern. Hello, Mr. Modern. How are you doing tonight? I want to book a room. If I can book a room, that would be wonderful. Yes. Today yes. night? Yes, tonight. No, yes, let, uh, what's that? Uh, today check in or tomorrow? Oh, today or tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, yes, yes, yes. Let's book in tomorrow. Tomorrow available. Yes, that sounds fine, yes. What time is check-in? Uh, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. Oh, yes, yes, that's a good time. Yeah. For Ben showed and shooting in the room. Okay, We'll be available o'clock. to shoot. I'm sorry? I would like to see a Lund, one Gond. Yes. Have you got a nice lund? Okay, tomorrow you check in, okay? Yes, then I'll inspect your lund. And we'll receive transmissions together from the mothership. Yes. Hello? Yes, hello! You to uh, tomorrow check in? Yes. Do you, does your okay. bop know how to chode? As I can okay. teach your bop how to chode. Okay, okay. Yes. You to, okay, do you yes. tomorrow twelve o'clock, okay? Okay, mother chode, I love you. Hmm. Yes. Oh yes. Hello, this is Hampton, Lenore City. Uh, uh, hi. Have you got your room bookings available? What was that? Woo! Your rooms? We are all booked oh, in the night. Oh, boy. Uh, you got an alley or a dumpster I can just sleep in? <laughs> Unfortunately not, I'm sorry. Uh, man. All right, well, can you slam your phone down real hard? It's making me feel that? real good. Just slam that, that phone down. All right, man. You have a good one. Slam it. You know, how do you... Hello? Uh, King's Inn. Hi. Can you slam your, your phone slam real it. hard? Slam it. You got a real phone? Okay. Uh, I'm doing a survey to see what hotels still have real phones versus, you know, soft phones like the internet phones. 
Oh, and well, so far, like everyone's got new phones, and I really hate the new phones. I like the old ones that you can hear, you know, the clank real hard. Like you can feel yeah. people's like real, you know, aggression. Like you know, you're having a bad night. You slam that phone down, and and you know, make people know that you're not having a good one. At least you transfer that bad energy out of yourself and make for a better tomorrow. You know. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. Good night. I love you. Oh. Yeah, I keep forgetting. Thank you for calling Holiday Inn Express in Hendersonville. This is Chris. How can I help you? Hey, Chrissy, Chris. How's it going? What can I do for you? Um, so, I've got this little problem with a, a manatee. Do you know what a manatee mm. is? Yeah, I know yeah, what Yeah, yeah. So, so... So my friend Milky here, he had uh, he went swimming with manatees. Mm. Apparently, it's it's not not an allowed thing to do. But yeah, he's now got this like really weird rash and well, that there's this weird like sleep with them. pus. Yeah. Um, is there anything you could do to help us out? I'd recommend to go to the doctor since healthcare is free. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Let, let me Good evening. Thank you for calling the Hyatt Place, Nashville, Hendersonville. This is Jessica. How can I assist? Hi, Jessica. I'm on the top floor. I'm very high. How did I get here? You might ask. Well, I climbed inside the elevator and I went upstairs. Okay. I have a drone and it's stuck. And I'm stuck. And Jesus came to me in a dream when I was up here because I fell asleep. It's been a couple hours. Um, what do I do? What do you mean, what do you do? How do I get down in the elevator? Oh, you push the number one button. It'll take you to the front desk. It'll well, take not, you to there's the no bus. buttons here. I went up top. There's no buttons here. I'm scared of, of falling into the hole here, so I just want to, like, you know, how do I go down from here? Um, I can call the cops and they can come get you. Oh, no, that's not necessary. Like, I can get in. Like, I'm just trying to avoid going up and down, you know. If I have to go back up here for some reason, I don't want to have to do that again. Because jumping up here was very hard. Cause yeah, Because I, I brought my is. pet with me. You know, uh -huh. I brought a lynx with me. Uh, you know, I got him from the zoo down here, and he's, you know, been. It, it's okay. Everything will be okay. Just, just hang in there. Calm down. It's okay. He keeps leaping into holes everywhere up here. Um, it's really. I, I like I said, the only thing I know how to do is to call the cops because I don't know how else to get you out of there. Can you push the button that makes it go down? Sure. But it'll... Okay, we yeah, have two that. elevators. It'll pull both... Of, it will only pull one of them. Well, and eventually it, one's going to go up and the other's going to go down. Eventually I'll get to the ground floor, I'm sure. Well, if you're... Um, Duck, then it won't work. I have to have the, oh, I have no, to call no. the cops. Oh, no, no. It's been moving. It's been moving. I, I've been riding. It's, I'm basically riding up here. It's going up and down. <clears throat> oh. I think I swallowed a fly on that last go. That It went down. It went down real nice and smooth. Like, it, it's real mm -hmm. nice up here. I don't know if you've been up here, but it's like it's nice and polished and... There's there's even a half-eaten ham sandwich. It seems fresh. I've been eating that. I wouldn't Pretty recommend good. it. Flies are better for you. More protein. Oh, really? Okay. So right here. Oh. You want me to put my brother on? Because he's here, too. Like, he told me not to call you because I get in trouble. But I, just, I am honest. I can't lie. Okay. Okay, let me put the phone on him. Here, take it. Take it. I want to go down again. I'm sorry, Hello? Dan. He's been on some uh, goofballs or uppers or downers or sidewaysers. I don't know. 
I don't speak the drug slang, but we're just in our room here. Nothing is wrong. Okay. I can talk him down, I think. Okay. Can you hope? I'm um, going to put him back on. Tell him he's a good boy. Like Hello? I told him earlier, if you guys are stuck, the only thing I can do is call cops because I don't know how to get it unstuck. Who put this pudding here? Wait. There's a toilet on top of the elevator. Okay, I'm going to call the that? cops. I'm going to I'm going to call the cops for no, you. No. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll talk. You just They'll be the up right up man. for you. They'll be right up there for you for the cops, okay? Thank you for calling Robin in this video, may I help you? Hi. I'm uh I'm below the elevator, but I'm also above the elevator, but I'm not inside the elevator. I'm not sure how this happened, but I'm all stretched out here in my bed. I'm I'm sorry, what room number are you in? Oh, the elevator. But I set my sleeping bag inside and I've been it's been going up and down. People have been kicking me in my in my sleeping bag. I told them, Hey, hey, I'm sleeping here, I'm sleeping here and they kick me and they they, they spit on me and they roll their suitcases on me because I guess they think I'm like I'm not here. But I'm like part of the elevator and I'm going up and down, up and down, up and down. My hand's going up and down, up and down, because I'm in my sleeping bag, and it's going up and down. You know? No, you know you called the hotel, right? I am not sure if yeah. you have the right number. Yeah, I know. I'm sleeping on the ground here, I'm, and it's going up and down. Okay, but there's nothing I can do. We don't have no elevator. I, I don't think you have the right number that you I'm called. in the bed. The bed, it's going up and down. Like, it's shaking. It's shaking me. Why is the bed shaking me? It keeps going up and down and, and side to side, and it's going up and down, up and down, up and down. So and then do I, I tried, what, I got out. Do you know where you stay? Do you know where you're staying? Yeah, roadway. And it's okay. going up and down, up and down, up What's and down. What's your room number? You know? Uh, It's the up and down room. It's the one that's on the side with the Hooters on that side because I walked from Hooters over to here and now the bed's going up and down I think it's haunted I'm scared it's going up oh. and down up and down up and down like it just keeps going up and down I don't understand I was giving myself a sponge bath earlier in the tub in the shower and in, and something went up and down in there too the 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 shampoo bottle, it went up and down, and it, it squirted all over me, and it went up and down, up and down. It's scary. Is this normal? It shouldn't be happening that way. What's your room number? It's the one by the Hooters, you know? Okay, well, there is, there is a both sides, the, the rooms are on the Hooter side. Yeah. I don't remember, because I, I, well... I, I I had some drinks at the Hooters. Yeah, so yeah. I, mean, that I, I lost my don't key. Know what to it, it you, it, we never had When I came in, before. it slipped and it it went up and down. It's it's like when I walk in the room, everything just goes up and down. I looked in the mirror, my eyes were bouncing. They were bouncing like up and down. Okay, so that's it's really scary. It's, are you sure you you were not losing something in there? Because you had some drinks. Oh, I lost the room some key. Kind of I did lose the. Oh, I lost the room key. No, I don't take medication. No, I lost okay. the room key though. It went it went up to the ceiling and it stuck to the ceiling. I thought that was weird because I've never seen that happen before. But okay. then the bed started to shake, so I sat on it to see if maybe there was like maybe there's a reason. So I sat on it, but. It started going up and down really hard, and it hurt my my bottom. So I I, I stood up, and I've been I've been standing and and sitting down ever since because I'm I'm scared of it, but I I really want to sit down. Okay, there is nothing I can do, but I can call somebody to come and take a look on it. Is it a priest? Because I think the room needs to be blessed or something. I'm really scared. Like why is it all going uh, up and so down? So all I can do is to call the cop for you and have them take a look on it. I cannot find no priest right now at the night time. 
Okay. Uh, do you, uh, do you want me to call the maybe... mom and send you to your room? Oh, no, no. I was wondering if you wanted to come and see it. Because I, I swear, like, I'm so I cannot I just, come outside. I have a guest know? right in front of me, and I'm I'm making them hold him because you, I can't. Oh, I can't gosh. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean to do that. I just want you to know, I think that, I think someone might have, like, done something in this room, and now things are going up and down. Okay, sir. There is nothing in there I can guarantee you, but if you're losing, I cannot help you with that part. Oh, no, I don't hallucinate, no, no, no. Okay, no. so you want me to call the cop and send it out to your no, room? No, 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 because okay, I, so I don't think it's like I mean, anything how, in this world. I mean, where am I going to find just... a fridge right now for you to uh, have whatever you want to do? Uh, there is nothing I can do that part. What is that? Give me your soul. Oh! 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 Give me your soul. You think a priest can stop the devil? No. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Oh. Sour, I got to start doing that work again. You know, we're Guys, doing Michelle, how can I help you? Hi, I'm doing work in the room. Uh, my son, he, he knocked a hole in the wall. I, I'm a carpenter, and I got all oh the God, all Dad, the goodies to fix forehead. it. Oh, okay, uh, what room uh, are you in? Jesus. I'm in the room near the ice maker. My son was getting ice. He knocked over the door, and his head went into the whole wall. I, it's a whole thing, and there's a, there's a cat in here, too. I don't know where it's gone off. Dad, Dad, is that Uncle Dwight? I don't... Let him in. Open the door. Uh, What hotel are you at? Hey, 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 what's going on here? What are you two rifle homosexuals doing? Oh, Dad, Uncle Dwight. I'm going to break the... the, the... Hello? Hi, we just got a call from you guys about breaking a hole in the wall. Excuse me? I think that maybe this might be miscommunication. We have a missed call from, or not a missed call. Somebody just called from this number two minutes ago and said that they broke a hole in the wall. We were just trying to figure out what room they were in. Who are you? I work at the Dive Motel. What? I think this is a miscommunication. I might have the wrong number. I'm so sorry. Ha ha. Okay, thank you. Sorry. Oh, really? Because I can tell you right now, my husband. What was that? Hello? You have sat there and harassed me and harassed me on my show. Oh, no, no. Honey, I work at the Dive Motel. I have a missed call. Like, we just got a call from this. I promise I'm not harassing you. I work at a business. Motherfucker, what the fuck, you punk-ass bitch? All right, we're blocking your ass. The Dive Motel, this is Becca speaking. Hey, who do I talk to about a adjacent room putting a hole through their wall and into my room? Oh, my goodness. Um, you can talk to me about it. What is your room number? Okay, I'm in uh, 213. Wait, what hotel are you at? What, what do you mean? Are you at the dive? Are you at the dive or are you yes. at Urban Cowboy? No, I'm at the dive. You're in room 13? 213. We don't have a 213. Uh, no, that's the one I'm in. I have a room 13, but I don't have to. So our... Do- I thought we were on the second floor, though. Um, so it's just 13, what, then. What state okay, are you yeah, in? Okay, yeah, 13. No, hang on, I just, I just looked outside. I just looked outside. It is 13. Okay, I am walking towards your room right now. Will you step out real quick? 
Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, hang on a second. I just got to get decent real quick. Uh, I wasn't expecting any yep. guests. Um, yeah, no, that's fair. Until, yeah, until, uh, I don't know, it seemed like a teenager or somebody. They literally were reaching their hand through the wall. Um, give me just a second here. Yeah, no worries. Uh, where are my shorts? My shorts. Man, what the fuck did you stick your hand through the wall? He, the guy's acting up, ma'am. No, uh, it's okay. I'm, I'm right outside the doors with my security guard. Uh, I'm just waiting on you guys okay. to step out so I can yep. deal with it. Yep. Yep. Uh, okay, I'm decent. Hello? Hello? Hi, we just got a call from you guys about breaking a hole in the wall. Excuse me? I think that maybe this might be a miscommunication. We have a missed call for, uh, or not a missed call, somebody just called from this number two minutes ago and said that they broke a hole in the wall. We were just trying to figure out what room they were in. Who are you? I work at the Dive Hotel. What? I think this is a miscommunication. I might have the wrong number. I'm so sorry. Ha ha. Okay, thank you. Sorry. Oh, really? Because I can tell you right now, my husband. What was that? Hello? I'm so glad you were just this. Who, who just called? The guy or the The guy. But he was staying here? Hello? Who is Frank? You said that? You have sat there and harassed me and harassed me on my show. Are you talking? I can't tell if I'm talking to a live person or not right now. What is that? The one? I think this is. I, sorry, I just put. I just, hi. I just. I. I, I put the phone down. Uh, I'm back now. Will you step out I of your you room, guys please? Were coming in. I thought you were nope, coming. No, you guys. In. I thought you said you were come. Come. No, nope. come. We will come in. You have to open your door first. Okay. Hang on. Let me grab the. Handle. I'm turning the handle, but it's not opening. I'm not playing this game with you tonight. There's clearly nobody out the door. I'm right outside 13, and I can see the door. So thank you so much. Please don't call us back. Shut up. Oh, no, no. Honey, I work at the Dive Motel. Uh, hello? 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 Shut up. You can come to the lobby if you have an issue, but other than that, we're not dealing with this yeah. tonight. Thank you so much. Yeah! Shut up. Oh, I have a missed call. Like, we just got a call from this. I promise I'm not harassing you. Yeah, shut up. Hello, ma hello ma'am? Hello? You can come to the lobby. Can you hear me, ma'am? Shut up. I can hear you, and you can come to the lobby, and we can discuss this, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, good. Shut up. All right. Goodbye. All right. Good. Shut up. I love you. 
Hey, we're Packers, gonna call the cops weird. and they can come deal with us. We can come call the cops and you guys can deal with it that way. Oh no, mom is gonna be mad. Don't wake mom up. You sat there. Well, horse shit. Tom Franny Sweet's downtown stadium front desk. Hey, how's it going there? Good. Hey, listen, uh, I've been, I, I'm trying to, I'm in the shower right now with the water off, just because I'm just trying to relax my mind, you know what I'm saying? And uh, the, the door to the, to the shower seems to have uh, locked it, lock itself. I'm going yeah, to try to get it open. I got a hammer in here with me. I got a hammer in here. Hold on. I need, I'm going to try to get this thing open. And ma- maintenance is gone for the night. They wouldn't be able to do anything until in the morning. Oh, shit. Oh, no. The, the glass is all over the floor. I can't walk on the ground now. Hi, uh, Royal Ian. How are yeah. you doing tonight? What? You all right? Yeah. Are you good? Yes. All right. Well, got I got a little a little something heavy for you. Uh, my lung is hard. So what time you will come? Uh, right now. If you come over here, I can show you the hard lund. So you need room, right? Yeah, one room for Lund. Yeah, I'm coming office. Office? Yeah, I'm coming office. Uh, what What are you doing in there? Why are you doing that? I am coming office, buddy. One minute. That sounds gross. Yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. It's really weird. weird. Yeah, I'm coming. Are you touch? So I'm from Hampton in Carroll, Tennessee. This is Travis. How may I assist you? Travis, I'm smoking marijuana in the room, and I don't care who knows it. Yeah, okay. So... Now, you know it, and I know it, and but the thing is, I don't care who knows it. Okay. All right. I mean, is that where we're at? Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I can... I can do. <laughs> okay. Well, I have marijuana and I'm smoking it. Pass that shit. Okay, okay. man. Have fun, I guess. <laughs> well, she if she smokes my marijuana legally, we're married because we both put our saliva on the on the spliff. I can help you. Hello? Hi, front desk. This is second desk. How are you doing? So I'm getting away this from is here. Who? Uh, hello? Uh, sorry. This... Hi, how can I help uh, you? Oh, yeah, my, my son got the phone. I'm sorry. Uh, he had a little accident with a lamp in here. Uh, he was... I was away, and he got a little too excited, and he, he did something dirty here. It's real dirty. What's the room number? It's 215. Two one five. My wife, she's out. But I, I think she's in the bathroom now. I thought she was out. Honey, are you in there? <clears throat> Can you talk to this man about what he what what he did? All right, what's going on, baby? You got the front desk on the phone? Yeah, take the phone. All right. So he, uh, our son did something real, 
uh, real absurd with the uh, lamp. And how can I help? Uh, well, we're, we're going to have to figure out what the charges are. Um, as far as replacing the lamp, um, oh. he, gripped the, he gripped the lamp too tight. Yeah, he gripped it real tight. All right. Well, that's understandable. Um, I would just try and keep away from it, um, unplug it, and we will deal with it in the morning. There's um, well, we're, we're still we're still pulling the, we're still pulling the shards out of the inside. Of it. Ah! Ah! Oh, he put it in. Uh. I would recommend maybe going to the hospital. Well, we have some pliers, and we've got some needle nose. We've got some tweezers. It was it yep. was full insertion. Uh, it's the new TikTok challenge, and he doesn't know any better. Ah! We'll be able to help you in the morning. All right, hang on, hang on. This, this, this. There's a large shard. It's a large Raid Shadow Legend shard. We're gonna have to pull it out. Hang on, one second. Thank you, sweet. And that's why his mouth tasted like buttermilk. Oh, hello. 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 I thought I heard the man at the. The phone. I, is this is this phone working? I, hello, Daddy. I told you you have to plug the phone in. Real quick, and then get well, on the show. Cause he hates him. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why he's got a pink eye. He's got pink eye, but his mouth looks help? like dog treats. Hello. Oh, you picked up. Hello. Yeah, how can I help you? Hi, are you? Uh, well, I, I'm ha I'm having an issue. Do you have anything down there for pink eye? No. No. Okay. This um, is this. Do cozy you have any? Do, 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 this is cozy. I'm sorry, cabin. I could. I could uh, yeah, the cabins. I'm in one of the cabins. Okay. No, we have nothing for pink eye. We're not a. We're not a, a vet. Well, I, no, it's for a human, not a not an animal. Yeah, uh, yeah, we don't have e e for either. We're not we're not doctors. Yeah, well, I'm just looking for a way to avoid everybody else in here getting getting pink eye. Uh, there was an unfortunate unfortunate ass eating experiment that went totally awry. Um, unfortunately, the side effects appear to be pink eye. What cabin are you in? Uh, the, yeah, the cat number number seven. An ass eating experience. Experiment, yeah. What the fuck does that mean? We were uh, while well, we were on YouTube. Uh, the dark. I guess it's on what, YouTube what, or TikTok. It's one of the two. Listen, little it's, buddy. It's, it's the dark. What they call Kevin, the dark side. Yeah, if you're truly in Kevin Seven, I'm gonna come kick your fucking ass. How does that sound? Why is that? I don't understand. Um, Pilot Flying J, this is the David speaking. Pilot Flying uh, J. David? Hello? Hello, David. Hi, David. How are you? I'm good. How's it going? Uh, not too bad. Uh, I... Oh, excuse me. I, um... You know the paper towel that you have in the shower? Yeah. Uh, I put about three and a half rolls down the down the drain here in the shower, and the drain seems not to be working properly now. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm not sure what shower are you in. Uh, I'm in shower two. Two. Uh, I'm in shower dose. Okay, I'm gonna check it out. Uh, so I'm gonna need another shower to be. 
about the vibration. Fly J, last Hello? 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 Hi. There's a vibration. Hello? Hello? Hi. There's a vibration out here. Okay. My you truck. I'm in the truck. There's a vibration. I don't know if you felt that. It was a vibration. I wasn't expecting it. No. All right. I'm picking up good vibrations. I'm not. Now get out of my truck, motherfucker, you. Street. I have a car pilot. Pretty soon. Hey, bro. Pilot. How the fuck you guys going to have a clown walking around? How are you going to have a clown walking around, bro? <laughs> How may I help you? Is this... A- there's this some type of fucking uh, Friday the 13th bullshit. There's a clown right here, bro. He hopped in my truck, and he and he fucking hopped right out again. Let me in your truck, man. He's right here. Tape somewhere with her sitting Fairview, Lauren J., how may I help you? Why is there a goddamn clown running around your guys' gas station? Thank you for calling Pilot. How may I help you? I'm in the truck. I'm a clown. Pardon? I'm in the truck. I'm in the truck. I'm in the clown. I'm a clown in the truck. Okay. Thank you. Hey. Happy Halloween. Yeah. Right. Come on, Jason. Tell us speaking. How may I assist you? You yes, my brother my Dwight s- needs yeah. your help. Do you want? You interrupted to this lady? my. You interrupted my story. You lukewarm shower having hussy. <laughs> We're two men in shower number two, and the water is lukewarm. It's getting cold. Tell her to turn off the heat, man. We need more hot water in here. Crispy. They've called Flying Jake. This is Rand. You tell me this. What kind? What kind of goddamn lot lizards do you guys have there? This one just took my twenty bucks and ran off with it. Well, I, I don't know what to tell you. Her name was Crispy. She fucking took my twenty. I'm. A- About people on Twitter. Yeah, hi. I'm hey, you go, what yeah. kind of goddamn no, no, lot no, lizards you guys y'all stood have? Up for her. No, no, you stood up. Thanks, Colin Pilot 302. This is Louise. Can I help you? I was taking a shower, and your goddamn shower had a squirrel in it. Excuse me? Hello? I said Hello? there's a goddamn squirrel in the shower. There's a goddamn squirrel in the shower. We just cleaned the showers, so there's no squirrel in the showers. There's a, squirrel. There's a god. The plan. You're oh, gonna. Pilot. Yeah, how may I help you? Yeah, there's a goddamn lot lizard. She's right here. She she wants to know if you guys have chips. Well, obviously we do. Anything else I can help you with? On the bottom of the hostess. Shelf what kind did you want? What kind did you want, Crispy? Um, I I want the crunchy kind. You guys have crunch chips. Thanks for calling for MJ. Hi. I I was in the parking lot and I just accepted twenty dollars from a guy who um for services rendered and um I think he's following me. Um, which parking lot are you in? Are you in our pumps? Um, hey, yeah. give me back the $20. Give me the $20. The $20 is for services rendered, yeah, and good. there's no refund. You really did service me. And you serviced me real damn good. He prematurely ejaculated and ruined my weave, so that counts as a service. I wasn't satisfied. I just wanted you to keep going. I'm not mad at but you. But he, he prematurely ejaculated, so that means the job was done, you know? And he keeps following me. I don't know what to do. Just give me my 20 back. God damn it. It was only two minutes. Oh, I ruined my weave. 
Well, um, ma'am, you have Who's to call on the, the phone? Who is this? Who's speaking? Ma'am? He's the one with the one undescended testicle. Pilot 174. Hi, I just wanted to let you know that um, I took a $20 from a guy that I gave a blowjob to, um, and he's there. Okay, bye. Okay. All righty, bye-bye. Pilot oh. 174. You too. Yeah, um, I was just, huh? Excuse me? Hello? Uh, yeah, I was just in there not too long ago. I was getting some gas, and I got approached by a, a Hawaiian lot lizard named Crispy. She took my 20. She said she was going to suck my balls and lick us, and she just took my 20 and ran off. Have you guys seen her? No. So, there's not You haven't seen a home with big tits? No. Do the female voice. Do the female voice. Hello? Hello? Um, that guy, he's taking a shit in this truck. Good evening. Thank you for calling the Hyatt Regency Seattle. Rachel speaking. How may I direct your call? There's an animal in here. What is this animal? Hello, this is Hyatt Regency. Yeah, there's an animal in my room. What is this? Kill it. Oh, it's giant. It's giant. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know. Can you eat it? It's a... Daddy's angry now. He's gonna make you talk dirty. He's gonna make you squeal like a pig.